APNIC not, not being involved with the root server operator, with, uh, as a root server operator, we are still um, very involved with the ISP industry and the net network service provider uh, industry in this, in this region. And um, so our stakeholders are very much the network operators, ISPs and other, other organisations who also happen to be primary stakeholders in the root server system. So with the exception of MROOT, uh, the a Asia Pacific region has historically been just a customer of the root server system. We've, we have uh, used root server services, uh, these are critical services and we've used them at no cost uh, whatsoever. So it was a few years ago, uh, in 2002 actually, uh, that one of the root, root server operators, that was uh, uh, Paul Vixie of the, uh, of the ISC, the, the operator of, of F, approached uh, APNIC about an intention to begin uh, any casting the F route and uh, asking for our assistance in, in providing, uh, in finding some candidate locations around the region. And that was uh, quite a useful thing for, uh, for EFRUIT being, being involved, being uh, located in the United States and not having uh, any uh, direct um, uh, access or any, any particular knowledge of the, uh, of the infrastructure and operators of, the, of this region. And we, we offered to do that. Now, one of the reasons that they were particularly keen on doing that was that uh, just a little while before uh, that call came, there'd been a, uh, a virus infection uh, called, uh, which was known as the SQL slammer worm. And it, um, it infected uh, Korea quite, quite badly, uh, but only because in Korea they had a very advanced broadband network at the time, which, um, which uh, provided a, a very fertile ground of, of probably millions of PCs that were uh, always connected to the internet. And these, uh, these PCs uh, uh, quickly succumbed to this, uh, this virus or worm attack. And although that, uh, that virus didn't particularly, didn't especially target the root server system, in fact, it didn't target the, the, the system at all, there was a, a side effect which, uh, which did affect the root servers. And, uh, and that created quite a, quite a major load on the, on the root server system. Uh, it didn't bring the system down and it didn't bring uh, any of the servers down, but it, uh, it did provide a big alarm bell about the potential for, uh, for this sort of adverse eff effect. So it was actually with that in, in mind that uh, ISC was particularly uh, interested in, um, in finding any cast locations. Uh, and the first location that we did, we agreed to, to, um, to cooperate on this activity and the first location that was, was chosen was in fact the, uh, the major exchange point in Seoul. So that, um, that uh, root server was installed with, uh, with funding by APNIC of the hardware costs and, and so forth. And it, um, as I understand from, from ISC's figures, it, it uh, almost immediately became uh, the most active or possibly second most active of all of the root server uh, servers uh, in the world outside of the US, uh, ju just indicating again that, um, that by putting that server in there, it was uh, able to immediately attract and to sink, if you like, the load um, of of a major part of the Korean network, and uh, and in the event of the um, of a repeat of something like the SQL slammer worm, then that the the side effect of that that we had seen uh, previously would have been localized in particular to to Korea, which was in fact the uh, the whole aim. So that was only in fact the first of, of 22 or so servers that have been um, that have been installed since then with with APNIC simply acting as a, as a facilitator, uh, often uh, making the agreements with the local server sites in some cases, uh, but not all cases, um, providing funding for hardware purchases and so on. And uh, just, uh, just a couple of years ago, we had um, in India uh, the uh, a simultaneous launch of, of three of those servers. So since then, there's been one additional server. But, uh, but on one day in, uh, in India, we uh, were able to turn on three servers in three locations, uh, which were instances of three different root servers. And um, that, that is quite that uh, the fact that all of all of them were different locations and different servers is also an important part of this formula that it's it's providing diversity of the uh, locations of the server uh, the server operators and and of course the the actual hardware that's running the uh, the service as well. So uh, my um, my point here is is really simply to add a bit more to the to the rich history of, of what's been going on in the root server system to create and to sustain this um, this stable and critical service that um, that we all enjoy, um, and to explain uh, the motivation of of APNIC in uh, in assisting in that uh, activity. 
I just want to stress again that APNX is not an operator and not particularly interested in becoming a formal root server operator. We, we, we find uh, that we are quite happy with the current system. I, I speak from